Welcome to this CLA Mobility Matters video on foot trimming. In this video, we are going to demonstrate how to foot trim cows that have been identified from our mobility score that would be likely to benefit from a trim. It's really important to trim cows as soon as lameness is identified, as prompt treatment of cases is essential in preventing chronically lame animals. This will be explained further in our video on foot anatomy. Before we start, it is important to be fully prepared. You should wear cut-proof gloves on under latex gloves, as well as wrist guards and eye protection. It is essential to have sharp equipment, so please watch our previous video on knife sharpening if you need to sharpen your knives. Once you are ready to trim a cow, it is important to set the crush and handling facilities so that the cow goes into the crush with ease. Calm handling of animals is important and will be discussed later in our cow flow video. Now we have safely and calmly placed our cow in the crush, it is time we support her appropriately before commencing trimming. The first step is to place the belly band or bands under her abdomen, behind the elbow. It is important to make sure this isn't too tight as it can cause nerve damage if left on for too long. Now the belly band is secure, Mark can now pick up a foot for trimming. Note how he carefully places the leg strap around the leg, making sure his arms are in a safe place if the cow were to kick. These crushes are well designed so that the animal can't kick the operator once the leg is fully restrained. Now we are ready to start foot trimming the cow following the Dutch five step method. Grinders can be and are often used for foot trimming, but should only be used by competent foot trimmers. Functional Dutch five step trim. Step one. To start, the medial hind claw is trimmed to an appropriate toe length of eight to eight and a half centimeters. The dorsal wall length is measured from the point at which the horn goes from soft to hard. The first cut of step one is made perpendicular to the sole. After this, the toe angle can be corrected to around 50 degrees. It is important to trim on the toe triangle, sparing the axial wall and heel, as demonstrated in this video. Here, the new angle of the claw is shown after completing step one of the Dutch five-step method. Step two. Now it is time to match the lateral hind claw to the medial claw. Balance of the foot can easily be checked by using the handle of the knife as shown. Step three. Now the claws are the correct length and balanced, we can move on to step three, where the sole ulcer site is modelled. Our preferred approach to modelling, which is a modification of the original Dutch five-step method, is to model a lateral claw so it has a wide, shallow model, and a medial claw to have a steep, narrow model. The aim of modelling is to transfer the weight away from the sole onto the wall and toe triangle, which are the weight-bearing surfaces, thus relieving pressure at the sole ulcer site. Here you can see a steep, narrow model, and here a large, shallow model. It is important not to model into the toe triangle, thereby protecting the weight-bearing surfaces. A functional trim includes step one to three. At this point, if a lesion has been identified, you should proceed on to steps four and five to perform a corrective trim. Step four. Relieve the weight on the painful claw. This is typically done by trimming the heel down. If we cannot create adequate height difference, then a block should be applied. The minimum height difference required is the thickness of a hoof knife handle. 
Step 5. Remove any loose and underarm horn or sharp edges. All claw horn lesions can now be addressed by trimming away any loose and underarm horn. This is a correct treatment for all claw horn lesions. Establishing the point of pain can be done using hoof testers if not immediately obvious. Other indicators of lesions include redness to the skin, swelling or a foul odour. How best to further treat lesions will be discussed in future videos and should be discussed with your own vet. Referral to your vet of any cases that are likely to involve removal of sensitive tissue and so bleeding is recommended so that appropriate pain relief can be given. A referral of cases to the vet should be done when painful areas of corium are going to be exposed so that the animal can have appropriate pain relief. No blood should be drawn if not trimmed by a vet. Front feet are trimmed using the same principle. However, the trimming starts on the lateral front claw rather than the medial, as with the hind feet. Modelling is steep and narrow for the lateral front foot and wide and shallow for the medial front claw. It is important to remember that we must not over trim. Sometimes the medial hind claw will not require any trimming. So to summarise what we've covered in this video on foot trimming. The equipment to safely trim a cow's foot using the Dutch five step method. The difference between a functional trim and a corrective trim for both hind and front feet. And when to refer lame cows to your vet. If you are interested in undertaking foot trimming on your farm, we would strongly recommend undertaking a foot trimming course. The Cattle Lameness Academy regularly runs foot trimming courses as well as advanced grinder courses. Please see our website for up and coming dates. Thanks for watching this CLA Mobility Matters video on foot trimming.